Welcome back guys. This is Ashwin here. In this video, we are going to see how to perform feature selection using Chi Square. So this Chi Square will be useful if you are dealing with uh, categorical attributes. So you can use this if you are dealing with uh, classification problems and you also have some uh, uh, input attributes in terms of uh, categories means uh, you can uh, use this. So it won't support uh, continuous values like we have seen in uh, correlation matrix. So if you are dealing with continuous values means you can go for the correlation matrix. You can uh, watch the previous video for that. Now let's dive into the video. First I'm gonna load some data. So I'll gonna go with uh, loan, loan prediction. Yeah, that would be uh, nice because it has some categories and the target is also a category. So this is the loan prediction. This is the target we have need. And apart from that, I'm gonna get some uh, few categories uh, from here. So I'll just uh, filter out those category alone. I'll just get the gender, married, dependence, education so all these variables have to be uh, converted into like uh, numerical attributes like you can use uh, label encoder for this we'll just quickly uh, do that so self-employed is caps and uh, we just need categories i'll take credit history property area I think I would have dropped few columns in or instead of uh, getting this. Okay, let's quickly get the remaining. Property area and this is the last one, loan status. Okay, as you can see, uh, we just filtered out all the categories and uh, I just filtered out because uh, it's easy to do the label encoding uh, uh, here and this is the target variable we are going to uh, uh, use the chi square and these are the input variables so we will do the label encoding so from sklearn dot preprocessing import label encoder and uh, I can just iterate through all the columns. So for call in df dot columns. So df of call equals. Before that, we have to initialize the label encoder. I will use le equals label encoder. Now le dot fit transform the particular column. So this will convert all these string uh, uh, variables into an uh, integer. Run this. Okay, not supported between instances of string or float. Uh, I think it's due to uh, null values. We'll just uh, fill the null values here itself. Fill null values. So I will quickly fill the null values using a uh, mode uh, because all of them are uh, categorical variables. Okay, I just got this command from the previous uh, videos. So again, I'll just do the same. So here, I just use df and everything will be a column. I'm just filling it with the mode. Okay, let's run this, run this. Okay, now you can see everything is uh, uh, converted into numerical attributes. Now uh, let's perform the chi square uh, operation. So for this, uh, we have to import a module. 
from sklearn dot feature selection import g square okay after that uh, we have to uh, split the data for uh, input attributes and output attributes so i'll say x equals df dot drop columns equals uh, i'm gonna drop the target variable that is loan status loan status axis equals one now for the target that is output i'll just have the loan status okay that's done now let's perform the operation and get the scores so i will call it as uh, g scores equals g2 of x comma y so all these attributes are this uh, inputs and remaining one this is the output okay now let's run this okay this is scores now let's display the scores see what's inside okay these are the scores so these are the scores these are uh, g square values higher the value higher the importance of the target variable and uh, this is uh, p values so if p value is higher means uh, it is uh, independent so that is uh, uh, it means uh, less importance uh, let's display it in the form of graph in order to understand this uh, much better so i will say g values equals pd dot series of g scores of zero and the index will be x dot columns now let's plot it i'll say g values dot sort values okay sort values of ascending equals false i'm just uh, sorting based on uh, descending order and uh, in place equals true okay and uh, this will just uh, rearrange the data frame and after that we will just plot it so i'll say g values dot plot dot bar run this okay here you can uh, clearly see based on the score uh, we can uh, easily interpret the importance so for the loan status where if you want the loan status to be approved means the credit history is very important you can see higher the value so based on the credit history itself we can uh, easily uh, say uh, whether the loan will be uh, approved or not and the next one will be education and the third one will be married so these are the top three attributes uh, you you need to include in your data set in order to get better predictions so this is one way uh, this is with the help of the chi scores that is the zeroth index and we will plot it based on the p values p values means um, the concept will be opposite so here i will say higher the chi value higher the importance okay now let's uh, do it for the p values i'll just copy the same so here this will be le difference lower the importance everything will be p values and g scores will be 1 i think that's it let's run this okay so here uh, you can clearly see the p values if the p value is uh, okay higher the p value lower the importance or else we can say if p value greater than 0.5 so whichever uh, values that are uh, greater than 0.5 it's not that much uh, important so here you can see um self employed gender dependents are all uh, not much important here property area is at in the border but apart from that 
yeah you can see this married education and credit history is like a important attributes you can clearly see um, it's just the reverse order so with the help of this p values you can eliminate some of the features and to choose some of the best features uh, you can uh, use the uh, chi values in order to choose the top uh, uh, three or five best uh, features in the data set so this will be very helpful if you are dealing with uh, categorical attributes and uh, uh, make sure to use this uh, feature selection techniques uh, appropriate to the data set and i think that's it guys if you have any queries about this please leave a comment below apart from that uh, if you like this video hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe the channel for more videos see you guys in the next video